what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. This is the day. Tonight's the night. Yeah. Interstate 15 going to be closed at Tropicana in both directions starting at 10 p.m. tonight. Tropicana hell. Northbound traffic diverted off at Russell. Southbound diverted off at Flamingo. The 15 won't reopen until 5 a.m. Monday morning. The entire 15 is going to be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Just imagine like the worst accident cleanup for a week or a weekend. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Luckily, I could probably count on one hand how many times I've <laughs> I've had to use that. Because you're, you're a Northwest girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. But I mean, even when I was in, yeah, I guess the 15 is not, I mean, I'm 95 to 15 all day. Yeah. Again, you live in your quadrant. You live in your bubble. Yep. Uh, I uh, definitely, I used to drive that every day when I worked at 13. I do it so much, but anyone that drives that knows it's going to be yeah. terrible. So Gosh. anyone coming from Henderson that's going to work in downtown or anything is 95 or surface streets. Yeah. Avoid it. Oh, boy. I, I, I just, I, I fear for it. That's just, it's going to be so bad. 1027VGS.com is the details of where they're closing everything and all that stuff. But, ugh. I know. I the, know. Not fun. Uh, hey, the Oakland Athletics are still flirting with Nevada. Nice to know they still think about us. The RJ reporting that Governor Joe Lombardo has already met with the team, and while he's not a fan of creating a new tax and will not create a new tax to bring a team to town, there are other ways that might be able to entice them, like tax abatements over 20 years. They just mm -hmm. did this with Tesla. We're like, hey, you're not going to have to pay tax as long as you hit all these marks. You get to avoid paying taxes for X amount of time. Uh, the team has their eyes set on the Tropicana Resort land right there at Trop in the Strip uh, to build their stadium should they come. Meanwhile, uh, Oakland swung and missed on a federal grant that was almost $200 million that would have helped with the infrastructure around their planned mm -hmm. potential maybe ballpark. I don't want to say uh, when it happens instead of if it happens, but, I mean, every day or every, you know, time it's being brought up in the news, um, it's getting closer to when it happens. Yeah, but they want that. To, they want to... They want a big, like, $500 million check. And if someone, if another state comes in and gives it to them, they're going to go there in yeah. a heartbeat. They're using us for our money. Yeah. You think, the Raider, you think the Raiders just thought we were cute? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, scary scene over at Legacy Traditional School at Decatur in Lone Mountain in North Las Vegas yesterday. Uh, police calling a possible chemical exposure that had one adult falling ill, but that person didn't need hospitalization. Police believe a possible student brought unknown chemicals in a jar and a prank gone awry. <laughs> the school was wow. evacuated as a precaution. What could it have been? I don't know. Where'd they go? Spencer's and downtown Sarah. <laughs> <Like, laughs> it smells like, like where farts. Do you get, where do you even get prank stuff nowadays, I wonder? I don't That's know. so funny. Oh, actually, actually, no. My sister just did the cricket thing to me, and she got it at five below. Five below? Yeah. There you go. There you go. If you want to pull a prank. That I went, 19. I wouldn't do Another chemicals. <laughs> no, yeah, we don't try to avoid chemicals. But, like, their definition of chemicals now, like, the chemical exposure could literally just be a bad cologne. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah, we got that email, remember? Yeah. We got an email and it was saying um, that we cannot spray the Glade spray in the bathroom like to an excessive amount because some people's perfume and cologne combined with that can give people headaches. <laughs> You know what else gives me a headache? The reason we need that, to spray it. Well, the reason it gives me a headache is reading that email. Like, <laughs> all right, let's go, folks. We are all adults here. <laughs> can, we, can we discuss, this is totally off topic. Can we discuss reply all emails? Yeah. It is my biggest pet peeve. Yeah. It's like, all right, yeah, hey, we had a great time, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, someone has to within the company go, Great job, team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> people. Like, really? Did we know. have to hear it? I know. Ugh. The worst. Especially when it's from someone you love. It's like, why? You're better than <laughs> yeah. this. Uh, speaking of school, CCSD police. They busted drivers blowing past Garside Middle School at Torrey Pines in the 95 on Wednesday. 60 vehicles were busted going 15 plus over the wow. speed limit. Including these two gems, a driver going 44 and a 25 with no license, registration, or insurance, <laughs> who's surprising. also using fake templates that expired December 2021. Oh my God. So they're fake templates, but they're already expired, but that's what he's using? Like, honest to God, at Come least on. keep your Come on, fake guy. templates yeah. up to date. And this one's a, a doozy, but also, like, not just depending on where you were born. Uh, when you were born. Uh, another person going 42 miles an hour, also without uh, license, registration, insurance, with a three-year-old in the back with no child seat or seatbelt. 
But then I think of like back in my day, you know, I was five in the front of my dad's Lincoln Continental with no seatbelt on. I'm, look at me, I'm fine. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> they, I mean, those two little girls just died a, a while yeah, ago. With obviously, no seatbelts belt. are good. Yeah. But like in the 80s, this would be like, They're all right, you law. get home safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, put your beer down. You get home safe. That's yeah. the way it would happen in 1988. That's also when people are pregnant and smoking their butt <laughs> off. So. Yeah, in their Buick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, finally, Golden Knights face Rangers tonight in New York. They are tied with the Kraken for first. The Kings are one point behind in third. So if we lose tonight and the Kraken and the Kings do well, then we are looking pretty bad. Yeah.